So first of all, once again, I would like to warmly welcome to Jakarta, Minister Nafat, and congratulations for your appointment as the Deputy Prime Minister. It is an honor for me to receive your first official visit to Indonesia, and your visit reflects your government commitment to strengthen bilateral relations with Indonesia, based on respect to sovereignty and territorial integrity, and the principle of mutual interest and benefits. Colleagues from the media, Vanuatu is one of our important partners in the Pacific. The visit of Minister Nabat represents a milestone, an important milestone in our bilateral relation. It is the first visit of Vanuatu's foreign minister to Indonesia in more than one decade. And I'm pleased to hear Vanuatu's plan to open its embassy in Indonesia. And I also welcome the proposal from Minister Napat that both countries will establish an annual consultation. During the meeting, we identified many important agenda to follow up, including the draft agreement on the visa exemption for holders of diplomatic and service passport. And during the meeting, I highlighted three important areas of cooperation. First, concrete economic cooperation that benefits our people. We are committed to bolstering our two-way trade, and we are ready to increase Indonesia export to Vanuatu. And of course, support from the government of Vanuatu will be appreciated. And right now, I mentioned to Minister Napa that Indonesia is exploring the possibility to extend the GSP facility for the Pacific countries, including Vanuatu. Second, on the development cooperation, I reiterated Indonesia's strong commitment to support the development in the Pacific countries, including Vanuatu. Over the past five years, Indonesia has intensified development and capacity building cooperation with Vanuatu, among others in the field of fisheries, entrepreneurship, and climate action. And to show our solidarity to the people of Vanuatu, Indonesia already provided humanitarian assistance following the Cyclone Judy and Kevin last, last March. And going forward, we agreed to develop a country-specific cooperation plan to set out priority project areas to uh, strengthen the development cooperation with Vanuatu. And then the third is the partnership in the Pacific. Being a Pacific nation ourselves, Indonesia share many of the same challenges, from climate change, natural disaster to maritime issues. That is why we have the Pacific Elevation Vision, so that we can work together to address our shared challenges as one big Pacific family. The Indonesia Pacific Forum for Development, IPFD, last December, is a manifestation of this vision. It resulted in many important commitments to support Pacific countries. We agreed to always keep this spirit of collaboration alive at various forums, and we are already on the right track. Our presidency of G20 last year invited PRF representative for the first time to ensure the voice of Pacific countries is heard by the G20 and those reaching the Pacific and the world. Last April, Indonesia co-sponsored a landmark UNGA resolution on countries' obligation to address climate change, proposed by Vanuatu. As the ASEAN chair this year, Indonesia proposed a stronger ASEAN PRF cooperation, including Secretariat to Secretariat. Colleagues from the media, after this meeting, if it is not raining, uh, as Minister Napat has keen interest in football, we will go to Gelora Bung Karno Stadium to meet the representative of Indonesian football team. And going forward, 
maybe we can explore the possibility of a friendly football match between our two uh, countries' national team. And in the meantime, let us continue working together and take our relation into even greater height in the coming years, Minister Nafat. So like, strong like a Garuda, strong like a Garuda and noble like a Vanuatuan warrior. So now my, I invite Minister Nafat to share his views, please. Honorable Minister, uh, let me begin by acknowledging uh, your presence and also thanking the government of Indonesia for these uh, bilateral uh, discussions with you. I am also told that this building is very significant. It's, uh, this is where the constitu your constitution has been signed. And at the outset, the meeting today uh, land is a landmark for the two countries. After 1995, when we established our cooperation with the government of Indonesia, and it had been remained silent for quite some time. Today, my coming, we will we'll do it Melanesian way. What do I mean by the Melanesian way? By dialogue. And I'm so grateful for having this dialogue with the foreign minister. There are certain areas that we have discussed of our common interest, some of which she had already stated in a statement. And I wish to reiterate again the importance of our discussions, focusing on our bilateral development and also on the economic cooperation. What I can take back with me to my country, number one, is the uh, an annual consultation meeting by the two countries that will also facilitate and create the way forward in looking at issues that are of our interest. Indonesia is currently in a very strategic uh, location, handling the issues of the ASEAN and the Indo-Pacific. And I believe that with this bilateral and also diplomatic relations that Vanuatu has or will revisit, will move the two countries forward. I'm so grateful to the government of Indonesia, especially for stepping in our difficult times. Recently, we've been bombarded by two Category 5, Category 4 cyclones. And with the generosity of your people that you managed to step in to assist, that will never go unnoticed. Let me, again, on behalf of the government, wish to register our deep appreciation for being a true friend. Amongst the assistance that we receive from your government, one of which is a subject that is so crucial and very important to us, the issue on climate change. Your government has co-sponsored Vanuatu for the ICJ resolutions. Climate change is a threat to all the small island states. Vanuatu is also classified as the most vulnerable country. Thank you for that support. It is a win-win situation for everybody and also for our humanity. Learning today, one of the things that we have discussed is the support in relation to our VIP. Uh, it's been severely damaged by the cyclone, and I was given the assurance by your government to, to assist. Let me again express our deep appreciation for the, your generosity. My presence here today will not be the first meeting that I have with Your Excellency, but will be one of the meetings among many other meetings that I'll be having uh, in the years to come. I believe that the more we dialogue, 
the more we will iron out issues that hinders our progress, that hinders our moving forward. The interest focusing on sensitivity of some areas that is of importance to the Congress. As I've uh, said, let me again reiterate that, the Malaysian way. And I'm so grateful to be here today. The outcome of this meeting, I will brief my Prime Minister on the outcome. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you, Minister Navrat, and thank you very much, uh, colleagues from the media. Terima kasih.